you ever struggle finding a way to make your software training interesting? It's actually not as hard as it sounds. Uh, software training has a bad habit of just sort of showing the, the buttons, how to click, where to click, and what the procedure is for using the software. I like to use software that has little characters in it so that we actually have a backstory. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your own characters for software training. So uh, good news, this is actually a uh, free source file. So if you want a working storyline file, I've got a link in the description below. You can go onto my site, download it, and use it for your own purposes. Uh, it does have the built-in storyline characters in that free file. This one actually uses the really cool characters over at elearningart.com. My client told me they were a little burned out on the storyline character, so uh, this is a great library. They have a bunch. This one's called Designer Fluid. They have all kinds of different photos and illustrated ones and, and lots of different styles. So I put those in there. The approach is the same. No matter which characters you use, you can use stories to add a little bit of why. Not just like how and what the order is, but uh, so this is training for an HR information system. This one is Workday. So it's one of those online systems. This is manager training. So if somebody quits, we have a voluntary termination. So we have a little story here about Quinn the quitter. We have other people. We have somebody who needs to get written up. We have somebody who needs to change different shifts. We even have old Teresa here. Teresa just had triplets. So uh, we've used her both in the all-employee training as well as this manager training. Uh, I used her to help explain how to add, uh, if you have a change of life event, how to add people to your health care insurance. Uh, and then I'm using her in the manager training to show how to go from full-time to part-time. So uh, then uh, here's another one. This, this is for a hospital client. So they have to track all the different certifications for things like CPR and that. So this shows managers how to do it. Uh, basically, all I did is I took like our, our big objectives, the key things that the client needed me to go ahead and show. I said, okay, let's add a little context. Let's add in some little characters. You may be thinking, Carl, I have enough to do. <laughs> I don't need to add to my plate. I'm telling you, I had to build hundreds of slides for this showing every step of the process and everywhere we're going to click. We used uh, Articulate Storyline to do the screen recordings. But really, all we have to do is add like one slide here that introduces the character and shows why they need to use this particular system. So then the next slide just sort of shows, you know, the tasks, the very software oriented. This is typically where software training begins. These are the things that you must do. So uh, we did it. I left out, obviously, the part where people actually show the software training, but uh, then in the sample file, you'll see that I've, I've included, there's actually a few other videos that show you how to do this as well, but I've got a little bit of a game-like element in here where we go through, and as we help each character, they go through and they get a little check mark, and we do little numbers. Uh, there's another one I'll show you. This is Dan, the discipline problem. He hasn't been labeling his specimens properly and needs to get written up. So we have Dan's story. And then uh, one of the things that I believe in is treating adult learners like adults. So really, my goal, just make sure they can use the software. So I give them the option of watching the video that I made of me filling it out, or they can just go in and just try it. I actually got this on the wrong slide. So we go through and we fill out Dan, and you'll see now that Dan is filled out two out of five. So don't be scared to make your software training interesting. It can be more than just a tour of the different features of the software. You can very easily add in the why. Why does somebody need to go in and use Workday in the first place? So uh, this is a great project. It's a great thing for you to be able to do to make your software training a lot more interesting with only a tiny bit more work. And that's what it's all about. So uh, again, these free samples are downloading, downloadable there in the link in the description. And uh, check out the great things there on eLearning Art. Good luck.